Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a burning coal that he had taken with tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, your guilt is taken away, and your sin is atoned for. We see in this passage God responding to Isaiah's heartfelt confession of sin by doing what Isaiah could not, by removing his guilt, atoning for his sin, and assuring him of his pardon. Likewise, just as corporate confession acknowledges our sin to the Lord and reminds us of our need for a Savior, God's words of promise declare our assurance of pardon and salvation by reminding us that every true believer in Christ Jesus can be confident of their present approval and future acceptance by their Father. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. This is the good news of the gospel that in Christ we are forgiven. We have been made right before God now. The Father gives us mercy and grace, and he doesn't do it reluctantly, but instead he gives it joyfully. He doesn't see us as failures or misfits. He sees us as his children. He is a proud Father that delights in us. If God is for us, who is against us? He did not even spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also with him grant us everything? Who can bring an accusation against God's elect? God is the one who justifies. Who is the one who condemns? Christ Jesus is the one who died, but even more has been raised. He also is at the right hand of God and intercedes for us. This takes off the pressure to have it all together or work ourselves to death trying to earn God's love or make ourselves righteous. Because of Christ's work, he has exchanged our filth with his righteousness. And by doing that, we are assured that we are his and he is ours forever. The Lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. How deep the Father's love for us. How vast beyond all measure. That he should give his only son to Come